youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Uh, worked with J. Cole. Yes, I did. Yeah. None of those records came out, but now, we did a lot of work. That? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm very new to the way what the majors happened, work. Man? What happened? What was your honest take? Because there's a Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and new record. There is. Everybody now, keeps talking would, about that record. That would really help right now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, guess I think so. I guess they're doing doing fine. They're doing fine without that record. I'm doing fine. Yes, you know it exists. Fine. It does but exist. It would be nice if that was out. It would be. What happened? Um. What I, do you think happened? Reading behind the lines. Do you think they're cop blocking your career? <laughs> Yo, you are a shit stirrer, bro. <laughs> I'm not shit stirrer. I, I heard your manager on the phone a minute ago. No, he did Save. not say that. He did not. Did you say in German? Words? He said it in oh, German. Oh, he said it in I German. I really understood the words. Okay, that's that. That is so not true. Dan, did you say that in Deutsch? Of course not. Exactly. Of course, that was yes in Germany. <laughs> from, from, from my understanding. Yes, what is your understanding? Um, of that? We actually met in London. Oh, for real, uh, J. Cole. Yeah when he did a show at the O2. Yes. And his... Uh, what were you doing in London at the time? On uh, the way back from Paris, obviously. <laughs> I was doing... I think I did a show here yeah. around the same yeah. time. Yeah. And uh, his DJ, DJ Dummy, was managed yes. by... Yes, shout out to Dummy. A Sudanese girl. Yes. And J. Cole is also managed by a Sudanese guy, Ibrahim. I'm Sudanese, so it was like this connection. Okay. So she hit me up, said, come to the show. I right. publicly thanked her for inviting me to the show. He saw it and then said, yo, I see you coming to the show. So she called me and says he wants to meet you. I go and meet him. He says, yeah, I'm a big fan of Rock Creek Park. Oh, I wrote a couple crazy. of tracks to your record. I really love it. I think we should get in the studio. I'm booking the studio tomorrow. So he wrote a couple of tracks to your... One of my instrumental albums. Wow. So I was like, oh, wow, that's great. That's I'm a, I'm a so fan cool. of you, so that's great. Yeah. We were in the studio the next day from Smashed like 3 to 3 in the morning. Yes. And when I cut those tracks, he's like, yo, this is the start of my next record. I finally feel comfortable starting a record. If, if my memory calls it correctly, mm -hmm. that was like when he started. So from there, we did a few tracks. I met him in New York. We did a couple of tracks. I sent him some beats. He recorded some things while he was on the road. J. Cole, his work ethic is, in, is incredible. When I met him, he was already on a tour. Or he was already touring for like a year and a half. So my three months is nothing mm. in comparison. And yeah, we did a lot of records. Next thing you know, I'm in D.C. to visit him home. He was at the Verizon Center with Drake and Waka Flocka and 2 Chainz. Yeah, a and natural mix of yeah. artists. And he says, yo, I see you in D.C., come mm. to the show. Well, I go to the show, and um, he's like, yo, what are you doing? You want to listen to the tracks? I was like, yeah, I'd love to. So we hop on the tour bus, and we're riding around D.C., and he plays me the, the Kendrick Lamar track that he did over my beat. I was like, oh, this is crazy, this is crazy, this is great. And then after that, we spoke a few more times. He had like an interview where he said, I've decided to produce the record myself and not use outside production. And then I pretty much haven't heard from him since. That's it. That's the truth. And I, and I understand that, like from a, from a business standpoint, like if you're a producer, why not make it yourself? Why not make that statement? I produce all my records by myself. That's a policy of mine. Any record that Odyssey comes out with as a solo album, mm. he produces. I'll rhyme on with anybody else's stuff on their projects. So, you know, it is what it is. I understand that. Mm. You know, it, it's, that's not the first time those type of things happen. Mm. Where, you know, you make a decision, you talk to your management or your label, they say, these tracks aren't working, why don't you do it yourself? He you said, all right, I'll do it myself. Mm. So no love loss or anything like that, you know what I mean? I'd heard he's using your rhymes as well. Whoa! Now, that's what I heard from the German you translation. You did not hear that! No, from the German translation you know what's to funny? the lawyer. That's what I, I heard. I get Seriously. a lot of... That's what I heard. That's Yo, what I that heard. Is, that's, that's not true. <laughs> I sense. I lick Allah, don't edit that out. That's not true. Is that Kalim Arabi? Shwaya, Shwaya. Don't don't edit that out. <laughs> that's what... Don't try to cause beef for okay, me, bro. I just, I'm a peaceful baby. guy. I'm okay. a peaceful guy. I got no problems okay. with nobody. Okay, let's keep it that way, fam. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it tidy. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.